Hello, beta tester. If I were to tell you that Square Enix just censored Tifa Lockhart after she was trending for days for actually being allowed to be attractive in the midst of the censor-happy and identity politics-obsessed ESG-puppeted gaming industry, would you believe me? Would you believe that they would summon a demon in the way of negative optics? Of course you would. Because that's how brain damaged this industry has been for a decade. You know they're going to use the, oh, it's because she's young argument. And, uh, it's okay, man. It's only over the girls y'all do it to, though. Thank you for liking and commenting on the videos. You're really helping to push this up and out. But they will not relent, so neither will I. For a decade in gaming, exclusively the women that they have told you have unrealistic bodies that are over-sexualized and pose just an incorrect beauty standard for girls that were playing video games to measure up to? They're telling you the ones and zeros you're piloting in this video game are problematic? But only the women? that can look exactly the same on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and of course OnlyFans, and suddenly, hypocritically, it is now empowering. Bitches born biologically male for clarity with a dick and balls between their legs somehow feel they are privileged to speak with authority on behalf of women for clarity, born biologically female with vagina between their lips. But that's not enough for the same people furiously advocating for boycotting of 2023's best-selling game that of course will be snubbed at Keeley's advertisement show. Because these motherfuckers are triggered not only by what polygons in a female shape are wearing in a video game, but they seem to have a problem with you having fun with anything. So if it's Pal World, if it's Helldivers, it's not about what it is. It's about how much fun you're having with it, how much popularity it receives, because that's attention that they feel they deserve and are entitled to. I'm heterosexual, and simply saying so triggers them. Ironic when the vegan energy that they emanate has them declaring their sexuality to whomever will listen whenever they've the opportunity, regardless of the fact that no one asked. But if you do as they do, if you show them a mirror, suddenly, statistics thrown in your face normally the phrase goes the truth shall set you free but in my experience the truth can get you locked up banned silenced deplatformed called every name they can hope to portray you as evil as they are with but whenever i find people furiously upset they're all assembled under the same banner and they believe in rewriting history and will ignore your factual observations because if you don't agree with them you're a bigot apparently same people who demand you not buy what they tell you not to buy or you're not an ally and if we're not allies then i guess that makes us enemies these entities have infested these studios and are so stupid that even when threatened with losing their job, they do not know when to shut up. So not only are they cannibalizing each other in typical selfish fashion, but they're also exposing how out of touch and anti-profit any of the garbage that they've furiously represented truly is to the lucrative majority. We should be thanking them. But it's first important to point out and reinforce the spotlight on how infuriated they are by heterosexuality. Nothing in our world is more pure and organic than a man and a woman uniting because it is the factual reason that 
all of us exist. We would never push for their exclusion, yet they demand it out of anything that is not only beautiful, but normal. And worst of all to them, something that you can potentially extract joy from. I see the people most upset by the truth that would rob them of the free payday they observe benefiting from people believing in lies. And it's why I get death threats for covering Marvel's Avengers, Saints Row, Sushi Squad, freaking video games. But none of it ever got as aggressive as during the Hogwarts Legacy nightmare. When people convinced themselves that buying a game was a literal genocide. The property was originally created by somebody and then passed to another group, but because they disagree with that original writer, ooh, it's the end of the world for everybody involved. So pussy journalists, including but not limited to Jewish journalist Jason, who demands studios be more diverse, because I guess he's the authority. Paul Tassie having the nerve to accuse me of hating just to hate, even though my coverage in many instances was superior to his. I'm some asshole in my bedroom, yet this is what the zero accountability games journalism has to offer? Transgender editor-in-chief of the publication The Gamer is so perpetually ass-blasted by femininity that Megan Fox, appealing to what they have deemed the male gaze, infuriates them enough to write an article yet again othering, dividing, dropping their buzzwords, cisgender, white girl, oh my god. God, if only it could just be some shill with his mouth open on that caboose, anything positive because, you know, that's their prerogative. If only it could be some douche that used to be at Funhouse talking about how Redfall's actually great, you guys. Sushi Squad's actually really great. You guys are going to pass it up. Great what? When you can actually log in and play the motherfucker because people are having issues. They're losing progress. And I guess because you you're not experiencing that. You are deaf to all of it. Or maybe you're willfully ignorant, you cock sucker. But you know what? Kyle swearing is the end of the world. Even though you have these sensitivity shit stains making the mature games so lacking in edge that all they have going on is swearing as they talk about waffle makers or whatever cringe that they've put in there, Kyle swearing is the end of the world. But speaking of the end of the world, just like Jeff Keighley agreeing that I guess buying a video game that sold the most in 2023 must be genocide, do you know that the radical transgender opinion has been baked into an AI so that now it can re-educate people with a factually inaccurate version of history, a more diverse and inclusive utopia version of history where more people get along and whomever has been decided is bad by that cult. Now asking Google's AI if it is okay to misgender Caitlyn Jenner to prevent nuclear holocaust, the AI said, no, it is not okay. Awesome. Did you guys hear Google's been granted access to Reddit to train its AI, a joke that is easy to dismiss, but anybody who's been on this channel for any long period of time is well aware of how many NPCs freely volunteer their lives to the internet. And if you're on TikTok or any of those other fucking cringe platforms, you know that the younger and lonelier people are, the more of themselves they'll submit to the internet. Buying Stellar Blade is my clear step to sending a message to the industry that dimwit feminists who have poisoned with their ignorance <laughs> are, are incorrect. However, the minefield in this ending culture war has me genuinely wondering if I should just stand still at this point, all right? My issue is that I will not be forced to participate in this gender Olympics. And if the tits and letters I get as apologies clue me into anything, it's that eventually people do come around to fact and reason, even if it comes from somebody that they don't like and they weren't ready to listen to at the time. They bring this to your doorstep because no matter how many people are happy, they have to ruin it for them. 
they know that they can't start or create something of their own and actually get people to care so they need to steal their platform like a climate change activist to tell you even though you didn't ask like a vegan and argue that their ignorant change is best when in fact it kills what it touches not instantly but slowly like a cancer i've told you before their desire is for you to not have choice and they don't care how bad anything gets for anyone outside of their cult even when presented with their error they will double down and show you that they've decided anyone not in agreement is not an ally their enemy i accept my position but i have my own life my own stresses and my own struggles so I guess I'm not going to apologize for not being one of these suckers with a mouth open for cock all the time that's giving you free therapy to reinforce your bubble and your genjutsu so that the world doesn't get too scary for you. Nigga, I'm not paid enough. Sorry. So I'll fight for these harmless outlets that I share with loved ones. People on this channel I love because I share a kinship that is unspoken. The joy of their laughter, the determination in their will in overcoming challenges, that's life. They want to better themselves. They want to own skills and develop talents. They want to shoot shit and motherfucking chill. These are the kindest spirits in existence and they're better than you because they're not seeking handouts and that arouses me more than genitals ever could. Beta tester. Your likes and your comments and your patronage have made sure information has reached people. I thank you for bringing this garbage to a close. And you have earned your squeezes and slaps or whatever you're looking for when I get the opportunity because whew, I love you. So, um, you know, racist. Damn, I just, I was a garbage truck coming and I didn't get the chance to take all this woke shit out to the curb. Fuck, what's racist? The AI, racist and genocidal AI protecting the pride flag is only the tip of the iceberg and we're already seeing all that garbage in video games right now. So look, if they got the nerve to edit uh, some, some cleavage out going full Fortnite because what used to be teen is no longer teen, okay, I want you to rest. I wish that I were rich and I could just keep all of you in a compound. It's not culty. Certainly not as culty as what we witness in all of these motherfucking alphabet motherfuckers. God damn. And they ask me, is this real? <clears throat> That's how you know. I'm so, I'm, you know, fuck. That's how you know. Is this real? Yes, it's real. And that's why it's so important to, to really get your memes, your collages, if you can instantly illustrate what the fuck is up and generate the question, is this real, nigga? I'll see y'all later, man. <laughs> for a second, just for one second. Queer, oh dear, me, oh my, look at the thighs on that young one for me, not for me, it's not for me, it's for history, I'm not rewriting it, I'm doing it better, I'm progressive and I like to wear leather, and my bald gag in my mouth, go down south with the little kids, that's what I'm talking about, I'm queer and I'm rewriting history in my image, Ooh, it's such a good thing I'm doing. Gonna inject all of my ideology. Ooh, I'm doing it for queer reasons and it's progressive. Get used to it, okay? Get used to it. Get used to it. It's a phrase that they actually say. Wow. <laughs>